When making nutrient recommendations for immobile nutrients such as phosphorus and potassium, there are three general approaches for where we get the rates from. First is the sufficiency approach. The sufficiency approach, I like to say, is we are fertilizing the plant. It is only based upon the soil test and not based upon yield. Maintenance approach is an approach that is used in higher yielding environments where whatever has been removed from the previous crop is replaced. We're maintaining the soil levels. I call this fertilizing the soil. Buildup is an approach that has been taken, especially when fertilizer prices are low. We apply so much fertilizer to the soil that we slowly increase those soil test levels up to a point which is 100% sufficient. Now, in most scenarios, I don't recommend the buildup. Maintenance, however, uh, just for example, if we're looking at wheat, a 40 bushel wheat crop removes 20 pounds. An 80 bushel wheat crop is going to remove 40 pounds of phosphorus and, and 120 for the high yielded irrigated locations, you're removing 60. Now, if we use the normal Oklahoma starter, a lot of producers in Oklahoma are going to put anywhere between 50 and 75 pounds of 1846-0 into their drills with the seed. They're actually applying 34 pounds. So if you put on that starter and you're growing a 40 bushel crop, you're applying more than that crop's removing and you will build your soil test. However, if you're able to grow an 80 bushel crop, you're going to remove slightly more than you apply and potentially over time that soil test goes down. We don't typically see decreasing soil test, however, in a wheat system. Where we get decreasing soil test is when we start bringing in corn and soybean. So if we look at a corn crop, a 100 bushel corn crop is going to remove 38 bushel. And we start getting it into the good irrigated corns and good dry land corn. If you think 100 bushel corn, a 200 bushel corn crop is going to remove 76 pounds. That's a lot of phosphorus. Up in the Great Plains on the uh, irrigated corn in the panhandle where they're growing 240, 250, you're removing very close to, not quite, almost 100 pounds of phosphorus. You remove 100 pounds every year consistently over time, you will deplete the soil system. On soybean, our K levels, if you're growing a 34, a 30 bushel soybean crop, so 30 BPA, you're going to remove approximately 24 pounds and a 60 bushel crop removes 48 pounds of phosphorus. So I go back on this critical level. I look, I talk to a producer and said, okay, Brian, do I run sufficiency or maintenance? It's all about your yields. Are you at a yield level where you're annually removing more than you put on based upon sufficiency? Then we need to start considering replacement. And those are those, those locations that have a corn, soybean, wheat rotation with consist consistently high yields. If you're in a continuous wheat rotation or continuous wheat system, more than likely, the sufficiency recommendation is always going to be your best bet because it's going to get you the biggest bang for your buck. For more information about sufficiency versus buildup and maintenance, check out the SUNUP website at sunup.okstate.edu.